Ciao friends, we are Andrea and Ravi, and together we do Trek and Eats, a channel dedicated to travel and good food. We recently completed a Basque Country tour and we visited San Sebastian, San Jean de Luz, Biarritz, and further north Arcachon, Saint Emilion, and Bordeaux, which are not part of the Basque Country. By the way, if you're not subscribed yet to our channel, please consider doing so to get notified on our next Basque Country videos. San Sebastian was the first stop in our Basque adventure. We took a flight to Paris, then on to Bordeaux and took a car from there and drove straight to San Sebastian. San Sebastian, also known as Donestia San Sebastian, which is a combination of its Basque and Spanish name, is a city in the north of Spain bordering France. It has long been one of the most popular destinations in Spain and it's known for its bus culture and its amazing food. So we just arrived to Bordeaux and we picked up our rental car, um, small but nice. Oh yes, we can fit all our bags. Yep, and we're gonna drive directly to San Sebastian, um, which is two and a half hours yeah. away. About that. Yeah, it would destroy the entire thread, you know. We're <laughs> no gonna sleeping. power through. <laughs> Bloodshot eyes. The drive to San Sebastian was very pleasant. We passed so many beautiful small towns with gorgeous Basque architecture. At times we felt sleepy, but we stopped at a gas station to get coffee and that helped. If you're staying in Old Town, parking is going to be difficult and expensive. Check with your hotel to see if they have any agreements and you can go and park there. We did the same with our hotel and we got a small discount on parking. So we made it to San Sebastian and we came up to Mount Igueldo to see the beautiful views of the city. Mount Igueldo is one of the many spectacular viewpoints of San Sebastian, if not the best. Once at the top, you can see from Ondareta Beach to Santa Clara Island in the bay, Monte Urgul at a distance, Zuriola Beach, as well as the city. It also houses the Parque de Atracciones de Monte Geldo, which is a small retro theme park. It's a really cool place to see. To get up here from the city center, you can either take a cab, which will be about 15 minutes to 20, or you can walk uh, along the beach and that would be probably 30 to 40 minutes to get up until the top of Monte Geldo. Good morning. It's a beautiful morning in San Sebastian and we woke up early to go to the beach. We are at Concha Beach. Beautiful views. Our hotel was really close to La Concha Beach, so we decided to check it out since it was a beautiful day. This looks like an amazing place where to watch sunset over the bay, but if swimming is what you have in mind, remember that the beach is only accessible when the tides are low.
San Sebastian is known for great food. So hopping from bar to bar to try the amazing pinchos is a must. You will find yourself shoulder to shoulder with the locals, trying their local wine, chacoli or beer, sampling some of the most amazing pinchos. There are so many pincho bars in the old town and most of them are located on the same street so you can go from bar to bar and trying different kind of food. You can order some of the specialty of the house from the board so make sure you ask also the bartenders. One of the restaurants we recommend, Bar Sport was so good, we kept on going back for their grilled foie, which is honestly one of the best pinchos we had in San Sebastian. The meat is crispy on the outside and so soft on the inside, laid on a perfectly toasted piece of bread, it's just amazing. Their meat dishes are also delicious with perfectly cooked pieces of beef or pork, but don't forget to try the classic Gilda Pincho, which is simply a skewer with pepper, olives and anchovies, but it packs a punch. Cuántas veces me volviste de mente. Ahora sin ti estoy tan solo, no es fácil. Te quiero, baby, hasta que nazca el sol, hasta que nazca el sol. Dime, una oreja de cerdo, por favor, y el tomate relleno de mozzarella. También un vino blanco y un agua, por favor. La última vez que fue aquí era como diez, hace 10 horas y quiero siempre volver. ¿Qué pone, qué pone en la comida? ¿Qué pone? This is another place that we like, it's called Borda Berry. And we ordered tomato stuffed with mozzarella and also the pig ear, which is amazing. Borda Berry, just like many other pincho bars, is located in the main street, Calle Fermin. It quickly became one of our favorites. We loved the risotto and the stuffed tomato, and we were also adventurous and ordered the pig ears. How is it? Mm. It's really good. It's crunchy, garlicky, maybe even a little bit spicy. I love it. This is the pig ear. If you eat this part, it's really good without the other part.
close to La Cuchara de San Telmo is Lavinia. Lavinia is a must when it's San Sebastian. We were afraid that they might sell out early, so we went there a little before lunchtime. To say that their cheesecakes are the best is an understatement. It will change your idea what a cheesecake should be. They are soft, moist in the center, and the taste is milky and silky and less cheesy than the traditional cheesecake. I wish we could describe it better, but you will have to try it. This is one of the most amazing cheesecake we've ever had. It's really moist and soft and it reminds me of this food that I used to eat when I was young. It's called Serenac. I'm sure Ethiopians will understand what I'm talking about, but it's amazing. We visited La Plaza de la Constitución or Constitution Square, which is the heart of the whole town, on our way to Gambara, the next Pincho Bar. This is the main square in the city where celebrations take place. Uh, the buildings on each corner of the square have nice balconies with numbers on their windows. And these numbers mark the bullfighting boxes, as the houses used to be balconies from which you could watch the bullfight on the square. After the construction of a new larger bullfighting arena in the city, the square was no longer used as a bullfighting ring anymore, but the numbers remained on each window as a reminder of the history. If you know us, you know that we live to eat. So of course we tried more pincho places in San Sebastian. Close to the main square, we tried a restaurant called Gambara. Gambara is a very popular restaurant, both with tourists and locals. And we love this place because they had this amazing Russian salad that was so full of mayo and seafood and rice. That was just insane. And also there was this um, croissant sandwich with jamon iberico that was just so buttery and out of this world. So definitely if you find yourself in San Sebastian, you should not miss this one. Candarias is a typical pincho bar. It's loud, it's lively, with napkins on the floor. And as you can see from the hanging meats, you cannot go wrong with any meat dishes here. Lasarte is another place we really like, and it was recommended to us by a local lady we kept running into and she thought we might like it. Locals like to recommend places and this is something we saw many times. We had really good fried calamari, but we tried so many pinchos and they were all delicious. Plus the portions were bigger than other places. Also the crowd seems to be mostly local, which we liked. Although I'm okay with savory food, Andrea has a major sweet tooth. So we always discover the best pastries when we travel. And Pasteleria Otaegu is a family-owned business that has been making confectionery and artisanal sweets for four generations. They do not use preservative, flavoring, and additives. We got more sweet here than we would like to admit, and we really enjoyed some of them by our favorite church and took the rest to our next destination. Mm -mm. 
Speaking of sweet tooth, Arnoldo is an Italian gelateria conveniently located on our way to our hotel, so of course we had to try it. For me, una una terrina con uh, avellana y chocolate, pero con azúcar. Sí. The ice cream was really good, but we love the fact that they had sugar-free options for people who are on a low-sugar diet. Arnoldo. Galleria Italiana. It's really good. <laughs> San Vicente Church is a beautiful church from the 15th and the 16th century located in the old town. An old temple used to be on the plot where the church was constructed after the temple was destroyed by fire. This beautiful place is perfect to take a break from the heat while contemplating its beauty and the quiet away from the chaos of old town. We found ourselves here many times taking a break from walking, taking pictures of the beautiful interior and just resting in its shade in the heat of the day. beautiful site in the old town is the Basilica of St. Mary of Coro, a Baroque Roman Catholic parish church and minor basilica dating back from 1774. The basilica is worth visiting, but it's also located in a very central area where you can sit and people watch for hours. If you are looking to shop, you will find many stores in Old Town. We stopped at the store called Eco and picked up some cute stuff to bring back. Started moving again. The giants. Take a look.
just so, some thoughts about uh, San Sebastian. We love it. Oh right? yes, absolutely, absolutely. It's a very, very friendly city. Um, people are very happy to share their city with you. Um, the whole old town revolves around. Um, yeah, there are some dogs here. Many. The whole old town revolves around um, pincho and pincho bars and going from bar to bar and you know trying different food and the food is excellent anywhere you go. Yeah, and also everybody's willing to to share when you're in these places. People tell you to you know share the food with them, they share their experience uh, about their favorite pinchos. Uh, yeah, they, they really they, they're very friendly. Yeah. Yeah, they always tell us where to go next, uh, where to try. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a very friendly place. Um, it's been very busy mm -hmm. because there was a religious <laughs> holiday. Right? We didn't know about it, but yeah. uh, we stumbled upon like, a, a crazy parade. It was so packed. There were for two days in a row uh, fireworks, yeah, uh, which were really beautiful. By beautiful the way. fireworks, um, but the streets closed, so you cannot go back to your hotel and it's done. And they clean up and they wash the whole city with water, which is cool. Very yeah. clean city. Um, what else did we like? Well, the landscape, like, the, yeah. the, the, it's so beautiful. Even going yeah. on top uh, and seeing the whole city and the yeah. bay, it was. It's amazing. Yeah, the water, it's a city by um, the ocean, so it's, it's very beautiful. It's a plus. It has this laid back feel because there's the ocean there. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's also a, a bustling city with like bars and restaurants and things yeah. like that. There's beautiful architecture. Um, we saw a couple of Gothic churches that were amazing. Um, so, yeah. Full of history too. Oh, we're definitely coming back. As we are driving now to the to the Basque region, there is too much to see, but this place really is uh, is amazing. Yeah, definitely. Come, 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 come. <laughs> You're not close to me. You're not close to me. <laughs> <laughs> Please, let's try it. Yeah. <laughs> One last time, go there, for God's sake, before I destroy okay, the phone. Okay, okay. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Look at me. Cheers. 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 Oh my God, I'm dying. <laughs> uh.